Hi, I'm Zineet Kumar, Applications Engineer in Cypress's Capstans team. This is the second part of the Capstans Layout Best Practices video series. In the first part, we saw the five most common mistakes in a layout design. In this part, we will take a deeper look at the Capstans resources available to help you create a good Capstans schematic and layout. These are the resources which we will be discussing in the next few minutes. We will present these in an order used in a typical flow of a product design cycle with Capsons. You can find all these resources on Cypress's website at the location given in the video webpage. Resource number one is a getting started with Capsons guide. This guide is an ideal starting point for someone who is new to capacitive sensing technology. This document talks about the key design considerations and layout best practices required for any robust capacitor end system. To understand the multiple features that are offered in the Captain's portfolio, please refer to the Chapter 4 of this design guide. This has a product selector guide which helps you choose the best device for your end application. The resource number 2 is the device specific design guides. Now, when you have selected a Captain's device of your choice, you will need to know about the device specific design guidelines. Every Capstan device has a specific design guide to help you design for a specific application based on the different design considerations. These design guides are available at the Capstan's website. These design guides also help you on designing advanced features such as proximity sensing and water tolerance in a capacitive button system. The third resource is the design toolbox. For a Capstan's Express MBR family of devices, we also have design tools to help you on the layout consideration. The MBR Design Toolbox is a simple interactive spreadsheet that has the following different sections. The first one is a layout estimator. This provides specific layout dimensions based on the end system requirements. The second is a CP and power consumption calculator. It provides feedback whether the button CP is within range and provides a method to optimize power consumption. The third one is design validation. This validates whether the end system design is within the design toolbox guidelines and ready for production. Recommendations for correction are provided for these buttons falling, that fall outside the design toolbox guidelines. The fourth resource is the sample schematics and layouts. The sample schematics and layout files provided along with the design guide can be used as a reference for layout best practices. These sample files are provided for all our devices and are available at the landing page of Device Design Guides. The fifth resource is the schematic and layout checklist. If you have your schematic and layout done and you're thinking about a quick review to match with our design guidelines, you can refer to a schematic and layout checklist available on, the, on our website. This checklist has a summary of all our recommendations on doing a proper capstan schematic and layout design. The sixth resource is Cypress's technical support on schematic and layout review. If you still have queries about your design, you can always ask for expert advice by simply creating a tech support case on Cypress's website. You can attach your schematic and layout files to the case and we will review them for you. Don't forget to set the inquiry type to schematic review when you do this. Thank you for watching. For more information about captains, feel free to log on to our website www.cypress.com slash go slash captions.